All right. So welcome to Al Qadim. I don't know if you've ever played second edition D and D Al Qadim. Uh, this is a domains at war scenario for it. Um, there is a map that I've put over here, just to kind of give you an idea where we're at uh, in Zakara. Um, way over here, if I the battle that's taking place is right on the map here. Why is this not making a? I thought this would make a thing. All right. Well, there goes there goes that. So the battle is right. Why can't I? I guess you can't draw on this. Okay. I guess you can't draw on a tile. But the battle is taking taking place uh, in this river basin here, the Alzandriel Al River near the city of Freeman, the Utaka. So these humans are Utakan. Um, that's why they have, some of them have Utakan on them. I don't think I'd put it on everyone. All right, so the Utakan forces, uh, the human forces, have some allies. They have desert troll allies, which are back here. Um, so these guys are powerful. This third division, uh, the desert trolls, can lob giant stones at a range of five hexes. They're pretty, they're pretty large stones, so they they can't go too far. Um, but they also have giant clubs at a four plus. These these are huge desert trolls, um, and they can do a lot of damage. As you can see, they have four attacks at four plus. <laughs> they're they're rough. These guys are rough. Um, so if you can get them up, they're good. Um, they have bowmen. This is a third division. Um, I did mark the commanders pretty readily. So you, if you mouse over the commanders, you can see the division they're in, as well as um, their characteristics. Um, I don't know if you've reread the rules or not, but their leadership ability is basically how many activation points they can give to their division. Uh, their zone of control is how close they need to be in order to just use one activation point to activate their unit within the division, or if their units are further away, uh, it'll take uh, two activation points to activate them. And we'll go through all this stuff real slow as we go. All right, so in the middle here, we have the second division, which includes Spears of Light, which are loose form. Hey, can you hear me okay? Uh, yep. Hey, sorry okay. about that. Uh, man, every once in a while, my connection just absolutely just gives out. I've only, it usually only happens once, but it just, I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, but I think we're back. We are back online as well. James, can you hear me as well? Yep. Okay. So apologies for that. What was the last thing I was blabbing? <laughs> you were just describing some of the units. All right. <clears throat> Wait till everybody's connected again. So one thing I couldn't figure out here in here was um, I wanted to put up a fog of war wall between you so that you could set up so we might have to use the honor system because I, I don't know i had, had some problems figuring out how to do it properly um so we're, we are going to let you um position your divisions however you want um let's just use a little bit of an honor system that will zoom in on your side of the map and and then we'll zoom out and see where everybody's at Isn't that the zone stuff, the third on the left? Yeah, but I couldn't, I don't, I don't know. I started messing with it, and I couldn't get rid of what I put down, and I didn't. So it's easy enough to put a hidden area, but I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. <laughs> like, in other words, like, I, probably, I tried to just put a hidden box. Um, we can try it if you want, but I, I couldn't see if a way to get rid of it. Um, 
So instead of messing around with it too much, I might uh, I might just put the see. I wish you could just put a physical wall up, and I, and I just couldn't figure out how to how to do it. I know there's a fog of war. Uh, did you just do that on your own? But then how do you get rid of it? I, I can't figure out how to get rid of it. <laughs> Can you? Oh, sorry. I was have pushed to talk. Um, so you can just draw this hidden cube. Yeah. And if you click onto the hidden cube, then, uh, so you can say, OK, hidden cube. So I could put a new one, and then I just So let's let him, let's let James get all the way in, and then, and then, and then, and then it's gone. See, I couldn't, I, I didn't hear the part where you. So if uh, you want to put up a hidden, go ahead and put up a hidden. Yeah, you you put you you, you draw the hidden across the. All right, go ahead and just. All right, so for your um, board, so for your forces, Florian, you're gonna be the humans. Um, I would draw a hidden anywhere here pretty much just just draw a box basically just the way you did yeah that's fine perfect let's see mm -hmm. let's make sure you haven't gone over yeah that's good and then he needs to do the same right uh, yep and how does he walk him through that and then so he needs to click the hidden thing to the left right i'm, I'm not hearing you florian uh, I will switch off the. Okay, so uh, it looks like he's annoying. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He just he just made his. Are you able to see his unicards? Are you are you still able to see his unicards? Can you hear me? I can hear you now, but can you see okay. his unicards? Uh, no, they're all oh, gone. Wow, that's cool. All right, well that works. All right, so just. You know, so so within that area, and we're going to try to keep it within the within probably this area. Everybody, you know, you know what I'm saying, like these tree area here. Try to keep them, mm -hmm. within, yeah, yeah, within this area. You know, so like, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you if you're way off base, but yeah, that's cool. And again, you want your you want your commanders probably within their. Oh man. Yeah, usually. Zone of control, unless. If you need help with that, I can get that. There you go. You might need to flip them. Here you go, and help you. Sadly, I have forgotten my mouse at home, so I oh, have to use the touch pack. Let me figure this one out. Flip them up. And there you go. You should be okay now. Just be okay. yeah. Excuse the. Uh, flimsy heroes. I wish I could find better base. They look good. They look good. They look good. Fine. Zone of command of two. Uh, okay, so this is um, it starts calculating uh, the, the the his own hex doesn't count, right? For for the zone of command or for any range, correct. it's always correct. starting with correct. the hex correct. So correct. Anyway. outside of the hex. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't start with it. Let me just verify that, but that, <laughs> it's pretty much range from not including. I really struggle with the movement here. Yes. If you want, you can take the commanders away. And... No, it's, it's just uh, I have to move them one by one, I guess. And maybe turn them later.
You gotta just make sure that they end up. There you go, perfect. Um, the trees and everything, they... Uh... Trees are um, rough, which basically Rough's means they rough. take um, um, double movement to go through. In effect, if you need to end up on one, we'll just move the tree. and If you want to be in it, we'll, we'll, we'll mark you as such or something to that effect. But mm -hmm. um, Let me see if there's any other... I think it's obscuring as well for line of sight. Let me just double check that. I haven't used train very often in this. Um, deployment range from my side of the board. How many hexes? Um, I would try to keep it within. And you're okay there. Yeah, I would like okay. to keep it like here and here yeah no if i mean from the back so how much um further oh, anywhere within, within, within your zone backwards. is fine you can go a little you know okay. you can, and anywhere within your red vein basically at this point if you want to This is the first time I've used uh, Fog of War to start it. It works pretty good. We did it when I played with Alex. I played with Alex um, a long while back. I played it mm -hmm. at his office as well as at his home. And when when we did yeah. it at the home, we uh, we used a, we used just like a big box in the middle. <laughs> that actually worked pretty damn. Well. <laughs> <laughs> So are you just working on like a website for, for Alex or more than that? No, it's just, it's the, it's this, um, the app. Yeah. That's um, cool. Web, web, web app, mobile app, but for no time it's this year as well. Are you doing a mobile app for it as well? Hmm? You did a mobile app for it as well? Or yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, uh, it's one of the same. It works it works on mobile. Yeah, uh, okay. It works in the browser. Yeah, yeah. It's more browser yeah. But I uh, but I can also put it on the App Store once it's done, and I plan to do that. Can be installed. Interesting. What um, if you don't mind me asking, like, what framework are you doing? A native, or are you doing like Xamarin Forms or something? No, 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 no. Native would be too. It's uh, Ion. Uh, so it's Ionic. Uh, Ionic, yeah. Yeah, it's that's angular, great. Angular. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's uh, Angular two based or one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're, they're I think now at five or six already. Yeah. Right? It's uh, there were two. There were two uh, versions of Ionic, right? Ionic one. Yeah, yeah. The, so the, so the, the, the two original, is the, is the, 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 the new the new one was TypeScript, yeah. and then I started yeah. because I, I worked on that. Uh, I did some work on that originally, but then now I'm working yeah. with Xamarin. We should get together and do some simple thing at some point. So what are you uh, what are you doing with that? Um, uh, for work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I work on a, a, a software as a service um, company for ah. asset management. Um, mm -hmm. So I do I do Xamarin Forms apps. So I do Android and iOS apps. Uh huh. Oh, cool. So that's cool. Very cool. Ah, the spears of light. A little bit. Of... The shadow swords are, are formed, right? And yes, the they are. And the spears are light. They're 
light uh, light foot. Yeah, the light foot. Okay, and the guy has or loose this... foot. I'm sorry, loose foot. So Henry. loose foot. So just um, yeah, the skirmisher. For memory type type. Yeah, they yeah. and they can be um, units can move through them, and they can move through other units, mm -hmm. but most others yeah, can they're not. Pretty, pretty good. So I've come on to uh, to keep them close together. James, how familiar are you with the rules? Had you reread them? Uh, I read through them a couple weeks ago, and I read through them briefly this morning. Yeah. So a lot of hand holding. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'm gonna have to be looking up a few things. Yeah, I've no idea what the magic rules. To be honest. No, um, never, never. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing them. They're pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, they have fireballs as missiles. Um, okay. Um, they will do... If they hit, they'll do... This is a little bit different than the rules. The rules give it, the rules make it a one-eighth... Maximum of one-eighth of unit hit points, which in this... Here, watch out for those trees. <laughs> yeah, just notice. Right, I'll get them. Um... In effect, they're just missile weapons, uh, so they have to hit. They're, they're treated just like missile uh, in the missile phase for fireball, at least. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, what did I give it? I gave it a. I'm actually giving it a. I think it's an 11 plus. And then, if the units hit, they get to make uh, a saving throw. If they don't make the saving throw, they take two hit points. <laughs> but if they make mm -hmm. the saving throw, it's just like a normal missile, and it'll be one. It is pretty difficult. It's, it's somewhat difficult to hit with missiles anyway. The one thing I didn't look up is the I need to look up the other spell. There's one other spell. So expect some weirdness because you see some really weird sorcery Yakmen out there flailing about. Yeah, I guess I'm done. Okay. Not really ready. It's hard to say. What to... Okay, so one of the first things we're going to want to do is uh, first of all, you got to get rid of your fog of wars there. How do you do that? Wait, let me quickly check the movement of. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so once again, select zone, F3, select hidden, and then just click on it once. Oh, wow. go. Okay, so. The forces have been revealed. The humans have come out of their city-state and are attacking the yakmen that are approaching from this wooded They're area. about to face yak justice. <laughs> Yakety yak. <laughs> Don't talk back, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, what the Jeez. one of the first things we do is you're gonna want to grab a. D12 Ooh, lots here. Of, lots of lots of And a D6. You probably just want to copy them as we use them. So let's take a D12 for you, Florian, and a D6 copy. Right, thank you. And I don't know if you want to recolor it for yourself. Maybe uh, whatever, whatever you want to do. Sure. But <clears throat> so right. what we're going to do is first things first, let me try to get the... All right, we are in the initiative phase. I need, uh, I need, I think three of these, right? Yeah, yeah you'll uh... eventually need three of the. So the D six is to roll your, um, it's just to roll flat, and then you can add... you can you can you can you clone them for me? Quickly? Yes, I can. pair 
pairs of these. I don't know if you need that many, but here I can make these all blue. Ah, so we roll the d6 and we use the and d10 then you use the, for the d12 marking. is to just mark what the combined mark, is. Yeah. All right, so James, let's. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this with James Rico. If you, if you know what to do, you can do your own thing. All right, so for Tarnook the Mighty over here, James, um, his strategic ability is plus two. So what you do is you take your d6 here, you roll your d6, and then you add in his strategic modifier. So go ahead and roll this d6 right here. You, you see this one right here? All right, so roll that. You can probably just right click and roll or however you want to do it. Actually, yeah, right click and roll if you don't mind. There you go. All right, so one plus. Uh, where's this leader? One plus two, three. So what I do is I set the value to three for this dice and I stick it in front of him, okay? Do the same for your other two leaders. So roll that or even here, roll this and then we'll do this. So roll that, just right click and roll it. All right, and then you add, and then uh, hold on a second. We, you do this and then you add in the strategic of this dude. Hold on one second. Nope. Hajun the Wise has a strategic modifier, modifier of four. You had roll the four? Yep. Then he's at a seven, actually. Okay. All right. And then roll a d6. Just roll that real quick. And then we will add in the commander's strategic value. Which is seeing these guys is a little difficult too. So you roll the six. So here you go. All right. I think that's all we need these d sixes for. We'll put them away. Really, probably just need the one d six, but one job. Okay. Everybody good? Uh, yep. All right, then we look across the board and we go from highest to lowest, and that's the order of activation, if you will. So it looks mm -hmm. like your first division of the humans gets to activate and move first yes. and attack and all that jazz. All right, so that, so before we get too much further, does that did that make sense, James? Yep. All right. So the first division of the Utakan humans may activate, and his activation, he has a, um, a leadership of six, which actually means he yeah. can activate, he can lead up to six, but his, and that's how many activation points he has too, so he's very good. Yep, yeah. well it doesn't, I think in, in this case, it doesn't really matter. I think right, but, if, enough, but what right? that does is it allows you to have your units spread out, right, without Oh yeah, true. Control. Because they can, they can, they can be outside of his range and still act. Right. So we're gonna make. Um, I'm gonna help. Um, I'm gonna help both of you out as much as I can. All right. So if I see you do anything a little odd, I'll, I'll mention something you might want to consider. Okay. Just to kind of be fair for both sides. This is a completely demonstration. Sure. Sure, completely sure. fun. Should be interesting. All right. So first division humans are activating. So what we what I usually do is let's take a um, let's take these right here for your activation points. You have six of them, so you can activate. So these red things you can just activate, activate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you want to rescale them, you can. If you want, they're a little bit too big, but yeah. I usually keep the activation token near it until we resolve everything, just so you know what what's already gone and everything. Can you quickly take a look at um, the range of 
Um, yes, and we can... Bows versus yes, can infantry. I think we're talking like cavalry. Yeah, seven see. or eight. Give me one moment. Sure. The bad thing of not having the rules... I have a printout, but I, I think I always prefer to put it into a binder, and I no longer have my binder from five years ago. Sure. Oh, come on. Where are you? Okay, here we go. So it's one one are... one column for infantry and one column for Yeah, and I can't remember I think these I guys are the, short I need, bows. I, these... I need the infantry ones, yeah, because I'm shooting at infantry. These are short bows. I didn't mention that, did I? No, it just says bowman. For light cavalry, I don't think that they would have well, it's probably not long bows, no. But they Definitely are, not. So it's bow is not. It's probably not composite bows. Probably that's probably important. So these are short. Not composite. I think these are short bows. Okay. So that would be four and five. Oh, you want me to mark? You want to mark four, these? So f okay. four again. Range. Well, for for me, for me, it only matters. For me, only four matters because here I put it on your right uh, most unit. <laughs> it's four or five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's, four, it's four. It's four against infantry units. Also Correct. Units, not sure if the genie counts as large. He I don't is know. a large, which I don't. Well, remember. then it's five. I, I don't it. remember honestly. Um, I don't. I, I think just from the size, I would think he's probably mounted. Yeah. Yeah, large I large monsters count count as cavalry yeah. for for both so, pro yeah. so probably the desert trolls as well correct well they have a specific range because of the uh, no i mean if, if somebody's shooting the, the yep. trolls yes, exactly. they yep. use the the, the cavalry yep. Yep. range for cavalry. so we'll count we'll count them all as mounted there might be a different rule i'll correct it later but let's play it that way all right so go ahead and activate these units and move four five let me see you all right, so your options for movement are to stay put, basically, um, stand fast, march, hustle, or charge. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably want to hustle because then I still can shoot, if I recall correctly. No, you can march. No, I can only so march. The, you can go your first movement number and still do missile attack all right oh. so let me go let me go through it it's, okay. on, it's on page 18 so stand fast mm -hmm. is, stand fast is basically the same as march you just don't move um you have to stand fast in order to ready mm -hmm. uh, which i don't doesn't look like any of your units are really gonna probably do that all right so your three choices of movement are march hustle or charge march you'll be able to do all actions and you can face change free your max movement is up to your marching rate you're you don't become disordered and you can basically do any any attack sequence after that that's probably mm -hmm. if you're intending to do missile that's probably your best bet unless you want to yeah. hustle but you can't yeah, missile know. fire okay okay so let's see what is your movement your movement is four eight twelve so not too bad yeah um, missile fire. Do my own units count as uh, obstructions? So only if they're engaged. The... You can't fire on engaged units. No, you I can... think before the, the volley volley overhead. Yeah, rules. you can do volley overhead, which I think is a minus. But it's minus four. 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 Yeah, so, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Let me see. Where is that? Don't do that. So okay, that's good. And as we as we talk, James, if there's anything you want me to repeat or, yep, okay, but I'll, I'll help you out as you do your thing. So okay, um, so, um, so it just takes so long. Nah, okay. it's gonna take longer um, the first couple of turns here. Yeah. It, it gets so, okay. going. Okay, uh, I I I will I will hustle. So starting with uh, all right. So hustling, he's doing the middle number of his move, and oh. so he can hustle up That's to his. You can go up to his hustle rate. Eight, yeah. Facing one. change. Free prior, free prior to hustle. Yeah. And then one hex per face during yeah. it. Okay. 
So uh, I, don't, I think I don't, I don't even have to turn now, right? Because you, I can just move. You, like that, there's right? a free turn prior. So if you wanted to but turn, do I, do, I need, do, I, do I need to turn if I move in one of these? No, not axes? if you're going forward. No, I don't. No, not if you're not. going into the forward two axes. Yeah. So I'll do that. one, two, three, yep. four. That's good. Five, six, seven. Wow. Seven, and then I yeah. want to turn. Okay. Um, now hold on. Or maybe so, maybe maybe I can yeah, I can turn can already, already here, and then make a turn around here to face. Okay, each of those is going to cost an extra. Right. Each of those will cost an extra. So you're going. What's your hustle? I, One, uh, two, isn't three, isn't isn't, four, isn't six, seven. no? You you can only every time you, you can face change during a hustle, yeah. but you ha it costs an extra hex every time you do it. Ah, it costs. Ah, it's yeah. not one yeah. free per move. Okay. No, 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 no. The free yeah, one is at the beginning. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Well, in that case, I take obviously the free one at the beginning. Yeah, sure. Um, let's see how, how I can rotate. Yeah, you can them. just. I don't know. So you're basically yeah, this like is your touch, basically touch, these touch, are your frontage touch. right here. These become your frontage. Yeah, but I can't. I don't know how to turn. Do them you want me to do on, it? Uh, yeah, please. Here, watch, I can't here, do that. Just, uh, so so if one, we do this, one face to up. the right. So yeah. you'll be like this, and then we'll just. Yeah, and then oops. I move. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever you four, want. Eight. Six. Mm -hmm. Six, seven. And there, and if that's where you want it to be. Or there. You can go two. there, there, basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's okay, too. Right. Cool. And flanking. Still... So the way flanking works, James, is that, okay, let's take a look at, let's just look at your heavy. Uh, let's look at his light cab that he just moved. All right, so his his attack is going to have to be towards the front. If when he does his attack, if he does his attack on a unit that does not have him in his in their front, then it will be a flank. For example, if your unit was here, right, and he attacked you mm -hmm. here, he's not in your front hexes, so that actually would be a flank, right? Okay. All right. We'll discuss that as we do it, but that's what you kind of yeah. want to do. Um, and the flanking it gives you a plus two modifier. All right, so that was one activation. Okay, so yeah, so then uh, I want to please rotate um, this one, the, the number ten as well. Okay. This one was the red. Was the red? Uh, yeah, this one. one. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take this off here. So that there you go. Oh. Here, I'll get the device out of the way. Ah, okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and um, I will do. You do another. I will rotate. Mm -hmm. I will rotate That'll make one more time. Yep. So you're gonna rotate to the corner this way. Like yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. And then he's uh, no, no, one, one, one less. So, is um, it? There ah, would be one no, less. This, this doesn't work. All right. You're, you're, yeah. Yeah. It's always the corner. It's always your point towards the vertices. And yeah. I, okay. okay. And by the way, I gave you smaller activation points, so these guys have just moved. So, yeah. as okay. a matter of fact, let me give him some activation points that are smaller. And I'll color code them for you. So same should be easily possible yeah. for, for that guy because he just moves here and rotates same as his neighbor. And um, what was the movement penalty for rough terrain? Was the tree as an extra hex? But that's fine. And the last can't. one has enough. And the other thing about rough, the other thing about rough is that you can't charge into it or through it or out of it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's okay. So I moved that one to the one with the to the one with the tree and turn him just as well. Okay, so he's in there. That's Whoa. fine. Well, here I'll get it. And you want him to be 
like this? Uh, t- b- both these, yeah. But the, t- turned, turned. One more. Uh, yeah. There you go. Um, right? Yeah, yeah it's always think. towards the vertices. You should always have a line right in front of you. You should always end up yeah. with a line. Down yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's yeah. fine. I'm, I'm, right. I, can, I can move in that direction. So that's very good. good. Okay. Very good. So things are moving. Things are moving. Um, now, he hustled so he cannot fire. No, no screw okay. but that's good. Next in line is the third division of the Yakman. <laughs> So you have in your division, I believe, the Dao Genie as well. So as long as the Dao Genie only moves two hexes, he could fireball over here. I'm going to give you as many hints as I can. So, yeah, and I think he's going to need to turn. So he can turn any way he wants. So right now, okay, so you always end up with the line in front of you. So that's one, and then that's, there you go. Perfect. And then I'm assuming... That was a free move, basically. So then you can go two hexes. So there you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. And then we will put an activation point on him. So you, that just costs one because you're within your zone of control, right? Your zone of control is... Let's go look. I, these these darn commander markers are... His zone of control is two, so he was good. So that was only that only cost you one activation point. No, so if your units get a little further away from him, that he can still activate him, but it costs, costs two. All right, so you're going to do anything with these guys, or that's it? Free. Okay, that's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll fix your commander when you're done. So you turned them for free, and then you're going to move. You're going to use your... You're just going to turn them, and that's it? That's it. Okay. What about this guy? Keep him or turn him? All right. That's cool. Got to stay like that. And I'll move him. You can move him backwards uh, if you want. No, I'm gonna, they're all going to move forwards. Okay. So you can go into either of these. One, stop. Two, four, six. I guess that's March Hustle and charge yep that mm-hmm. is march off run charge, yep. yeah mm-hmm. now there, there are actions in lieu of movement okay uh well i want these guys to charge okay so now what six. you can do what you can do is not move and then an action in lieu of movement would be to ready now these guys are regular no. i think are they or they're, they're, they're slaves they're going in they're loose <laughs> oh wow okay why are you charging? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Nice move. Very nice. All right, move. that's two. Um, okay, so that's two activation points. Yep. I forgot how good this game is. Honestly. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really good game. Yeah. It's deceptively good. I mean, like. All right, how many activations do I have? Um, you have four, up to. Hold on, his is four. I yeah. this guy. You've all you've used two. So this guy's fine. He can activate. You want him to activate? Yeah. He already activated. He moved. And that's it. Now he can only activate units in his division. Okay. Mm. Well, who's um, in his division? Yeah. The guys you just moved pretty much. Yeah. You see how there's a 3D in front of your troop name? And then he has a 3D. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I that's tried, fine. Tried to do yeah. it this morning. It took forever to do it. Oh, I see. Yeah, these, these things get 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 interesting if you have too many too many units. Yeah, but what also they gets start interesting. To get unruly. Okay, so here's here's a couple other things. Disorder. A couple other things to think. Keep in mind, if you charge, right, you become disordered. All right. So I'm going to get a disordered mm-hmm. marker for you. You're not. You still. What is the disordered marker? I think it's mm-hmm. this one. All right. So you're going to uh, become disordered. Okay. Yeah. But the disorder doesn't take effect until pretty much right when you're done. Next active. Right, basically, right. Okay. I will mention that Very if you want to change that. Uh, That's not... Your move was good, first of all, James. Um, and It was excellent. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm thanking you for me. Um, 
So again, the the main I, difference I between that. the main difference between hustle and charge is that when you charge, you end up disordered. But if you have a charging attack, which for example, I don't know if anybody does here. Yes. If you have spears, the, pretty much. Let's see who his guys have a charging attack. No, they do not. Does he have any mounted units? No, he does not. I think only my guys I think have only spears. Only your light cav have it. So if you yeah. hover and, over uh, and uh, and uh, the, the spear guys as well, I right? Think. Which ones? The spears of light. No, they have a missile. Ring. They have missile capabilities, but they don't have charge capability. But they have melee spear eleven. I mean, well, they have melee they... spear, and then they can they can do missile with the spears, but they're not they're not charging units. Charging oh, units okay. are those that basically uh, mount. You, you need a you, you need a horse for that. Okay. Yeah, it's hooves, right? It's extra for the hooves and the and the bulk of the attack. Ah, uh, no, no, no. What 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 I mean is the the increased damage for charging with a spear, the additional attack. Yes, you difference. are correct in that. Yes, you are correct in that. So a lance or a spear, uh, arc, uh, uh, halberds, or I, I guess halberds. Any any long weapon Does like one, that. One, yeah, Does spears or lances. Damage more. If if you do damage, so if you, if you normally would do damage, hit. you get an extra damage. So these guys are pretty good yeah. too. As well as your guys have spears or no? They, they have, have swords. swords, I think. Yeah. All right. So that's enough blabbing. All right. So you did that. No other attacks occurring. Do we do we do we handle the attacks right now? Or yes, do we, we have do. An attack phase. Right yeah. Now? Yes, okay. we do. Um, let me double check that. I think everything happens immediately because otherwise you'll lose track of everything. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Activation points followed by an attack sequence. The units are activated one at a time, each taking a movement sequence followed by an attack sequence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now, good. now let's take let's go back. Well, you couldn't fire, but if you were, if you had just marched your cav. At that point, you could have could fire. Oh, but then, but then we have forgotten the genie. Um, right. So, but he can do that now. That's his attack. Sequence. Not, not that I complain, but yeah. yeah, yeah, he can, he can go. So, um, do you know what? Let me, let me mark that on this unit. So the fireball is a f one fireball. On the way I'm adjudicating it, normally it would just automatically hit, but I'm going, I'm doing it as a twelve pl plus. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's do it as a 12 plus. It's a little bit difficult. It's all right. So what you need to do is, is this within range of a normal one, two, three, four, five? I think it is. I'm treating it as a longbow. Let's check that. I think he does have range on him on any of these units. Which one of these units would you like to fireball? Uh, This one. Okay. So he's currently hit point. Six fireball. So you need his AC is a three. You are a twelve. You need a fifteen or higher to hit, and then he can save versus blast. In which case he's either gonna take two hit points or he's gonna take one hit point if you hit. So you need a fifteen or higher with a D twenty. Here you want me to copy that for you or put it down? Here I'll give I'll give you oh, one over here. Oh yeah. There you go, James, over here. All right, so 15 or higher to hit. Whoa, he hit. He does hit. Okay. He hits. And now roll. you need a... Um, ooh. Well, Wait, it doesn't save hit. throw. Yeah, Oops. not a five. Not a five. <laughs> um, and I can't so, remember in Axe what no, I was going to do. I was going to treat everybody as a... Um, I was going to treat uh, everybody as a fourth-level fighter is what I was going to do. Oh, really? That's That's high. That's really high um, because they are. I mean, they have one minus one hit die, so they're actually uh, probably first level. Can't as no zero level fighters. So normal man. So, uh, let's I do guess. first level. So okay. Do you yeah, have the right. but a four? No, certainly not. But um, four is not saved anyway, so I know that. All right. No so way. unfortunately. <laughs> You've just taken a huge fireball to the face. Yeah, but I am light cavalry. Um, yes, you can. I can uh, mitigate damage by 
scuttling away. And I Correct. Just... And this is the coolest thing about light calf. This is the coolest thing yeah. about light uh, loose uh, loose mounted, right? Because yeah. they can basically run away, right? And he has to uh, withdraw in that direction. One, Actually, yeah, backwards. One per, one per point. So he needs to go back too if he wants to mitigate that damage. And he becomes disordered. Um, and it becomes disordered, yeah. yeah. Where do I... Does it matter? Can I go here? Um, you have to go, have to go as if it was your frontage. And I don't know if you have to turn around, too. Let me check that. Let me check that. Check, 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 yeah, check. That, that's a good question. I just put him down for a second. Where yeah. <laughs> in the okay. world is this? I just saw this. That's the one thing that drives me crazy. Actions loose units. Withdraw, 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 withdraw. It has to be right here. Just read this. Ah, oh, here it is. Withdrawal. It's on page 22. If I ever ask that question again, page 22. Withdrawal. When a loose mounted unit takes damage, it may reduce damage dealt by one or more by withdrawing one or more hexes up to a maximum of its marching. To be eligible to withdraw, the unit must not have been disordered at the time of the attack. To be eligible for all, the unit must not have been disordered and must have a faster marching movement rate than the attacker. I believe that is correct. Let's take a look here. Yeah, they're pretty yes. quick, so. yeah. To with the draw must be directly away from the attacker. If a unit is eligible to withdraw into two commander controlling, okay, the unit cannot withdraw into impassable terrain. The unit cannot withdraw into a hex or continue an enemy unit, but may withdraw into, through friendly units, moving up to one additional hex. To avoid ending up on top, units facing does not change when it withdraws. By the way, so that's it. Literally, the last sentence on page 22: A unit's facing does not change when it withdraws. If the unit cannot withdraw, it must take the damage. Mm -hmm. It becomes disordered. All right, so let's take a disordered marker yep. and put it on there too. That will be right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was a lot. But interesting, interesting. <laughs> these guys yeah, are powerful. The, I'm just gonna warn you, these yeah. guys are powerful. They have less units, they're powerful. Okay. Now if you can get Good. your, if you can, what I'll say is if you can get your trolls up there, they can do some pretty heavy damage. Yeah. All right. So the next person uh, is actually, uh, the, it's no, we need to do the, we need to oh, do yeah, the slave correct. infantry charge first. Okay, so he, has swords 10 plus uh -huh. charging gives plus two uh, plus two i think normal extra will see a plus two for the roll so, so what i usually yeah. do is just adjust it so he needs an eight or better uh, he gets to roll it twice so yeah, tw just, two attack yep that's one hit oh, yeah. oh yeah wow Okay, so let's take some damage out. Oh, uh, so. I can't fall back, right? They're light no. foot, but they're not fast enough. Huh? Yeah. All right, so you now have two damage here. Rough, rough. Good fight, good fight yeah. so far. Um, all right, so that is all of this commander's, right? So he is done. I'm putting this over here just to get that signify that he is done as well. I'm putting it. Okay, so this commander is done. I'm gonna leave the activation points on there for now. Um, the next commander is the first division, Hajin the Wise. He has 
six activation points, by the way. He's your good guy. Uh, he has a zone of control three. So he controls all four of these heavy yakmen. He's the main body of your army. All right, I'm going to have everybody hustle. Okay, I'm going to move this out of your way. I'll fix that for you. Okay, they have all moved. They are not in contact. They are not engaged. This is, uh, is an engagement right here, though. Let's make an engagement marker. Which one? These guys are engaged, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. And that will affect their ability to get away from each other. Mm -hmm. And I will fix Mr. Hudgen the Wise here. Okay. Very good. Very good fight so far. I love this rule set. Mm -hmm. It, it does a lot in a shorter short period of time. There's a lot to it. I love it. All right. So um, let's see. Is he in the second division? All right. So the next division that moves actually is the third division of the humans. Mm -hmm. yep. So this is going to start getting interesting. So this yes. guy can. So uh, they, I think, uh, I his, think his they have a actions, normal. He can try to withdraw, which I think. Yeah, then I get. He gets an attack get, if you do that. Get a free could. attack. Um, it will be a normal attack then. But these guys are pretty good. These Mamluk, these these, these slave infantry, they're there for a reason. They're fanatics. Right? Check. They might not be treated um, well. <laughs> but as a result, they're fanatics. <laughs> and we promise their freedom if they win this battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, that's a that's a great way to put it. Oh, they also have bow. This pretty much. They are pretty similar to my bowman. So. Yeah, well, they're better. Oh, my bowmen are much better at shooting and worse in melee. Okay. So here's okay. the thing. Though. I think he could. He could. Oh, okay. uh, what, I, what I can't uh, remember. Let me look at a charge real quick. I think a charge you have to pivot first basically let me take a look at that before before so but you could pull it off like in other words you could pivot towards that vertice go here and charge him and that would be a flank charge what what would be a flank charge your desert trolls could use their claws. oh my desert charge yes of course yeah. and then basically just knock them off the planet <laughs> yeah that's one of the plans yeah well, 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 we'll see. First, I do so charge, something else. But... Max facing changes. Um, no, ooh, you cannot facing change. No space change. Okay. By the way, yeah, that's that's what I expected. But I wanted to use the spears of light anyway, not the trolls. Um. So um. But you can't do that. Yet. But you have to do this. Yeah, I can't do that yet. This is right. Um. So um. So if I want to disengage, uh, I just take one hit and then can move away. How far can I move away? Yes, it's the equivalent of a withdrawal, I think. Oh, hold on. Hold on, let's look this up. I had originally said 22, so hopefully that's the withdrawal. No, that's that. Hold on, charge, general movement, roll, yes. Okay. Outside the, outside the movement sequence. Where, where, General, where is it? Where is the engagement? I do know they get a free, they get one reaction attack. Sometimes an attacker might attack into a where is it? Where, where is it? Where, 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 where? 
Where is engagement? Where is engagement? I'll be right back. Yep, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Where the heck is the engagement described? I can, I can download it on my... What drives me crazy is I need bifocals as well. <laughs> I cannot find it. Oh, here it is. It's... Okay, disengagements are on page 20, 20, 20, if I ever ask again. <laughs> I need to make notes of all this. All right, if a unit becomes threatened while moving, okay, if threatening unit, unless it first disengages. To conduct a disengagement, the unit's commander announces that the unit is disengaging. The disengagement triggers one free melee attack from each threatening enemy unit. That's something to remember, right? You only have one. Mm -hmm. yep. However, a disengaging loose foot Loose mounted or flyer. Is he a loose foot? He yep. is a loose foot. Does not trigger a track by threatening units that have it. Oh, that has a that have a slower march somehow slower, which is never gonna be the case here. Special plus two bonus to hit. Ooh. Assuming the disengaging unit is not delimited by the disengagement, it may then Damn. conduct a marching movement. That which cannot move may not disengage. By the way, assuming the disengage to which the disengaging movement must not be threatened and must not be adjacent to any enemy units. Okay, a unit which so it's a march. So you can do anything you want to do with a march. So you can end mm -hmm. up and you know you can face any direction. Okay. Well, wow, we're getting into a bunch of nitty gritty rules real quick. March up to March right. So you can go basically facing changes are free and so forth. So are you sure you want to do it? Mm, yeah, sounds good. Painful. Yeah, these guys are pretty powerful. You know, they're ten plusers. If they were like twelve plusers, base. I yeah, I, I'd, I'd probably would probably take the hit. Problem is my my bowmen suck at uh, me. Um. So if I can, if I make a retreat and then I make a march movement, can I then still attack? Um, you would be, you would have been disordered. Let me see if that mentions that. In which case, I don't think a disordered unit can do it. Ah, uh, yeah. That makes totally sense. Yeah. Actually, it does not mention it. In this in this case it does not mention with it does not mention going <laughs> disordered on disengagement. Oh wait a minute. See if it can which is not disordered. Now we're just gonna okay. If you take damage you will get disordered though. By the way. Ah oh, then I am already disordered, right? <laughs> Um, that is correct. That is correct. Sorry. So Which... that means it costs... Oh, yeah, well, I have, uh, I have leadership ability, so I guess it costs just one It'll to activate. Cost two to activate that unit. Yeah, but my leader, it's within the range. Right, but, it, but having a disordered marker automatically adds an, adds an extra one. 
Does it add this one? The only time, the only time that wouldn't be the case is if he had an attached lieutenant. Ah, yeah. So in other words, if he was like a Roman okay. legionary unit, yeah, yeah. he probably would have had an attached lieutenant, which then so basically negates the story. Check. Fuck is They're definitely not well groomed. Four. Okay, so he's actually not that good in activating. So. Um, is the other, um, the only thing I need just, to look up is can you do missile fire if you're disordered? I don't see anything that says no. In order to yeah, be, I guess you can. Okay, hold on, you need to make clear missile attack if it meets the following. It if using arquebus must have stood fast. Uh, attacker must not be threatened by an enemy unit. Threat you may not do, yeah. Units that hustled or charged during the movement sequences may never declare. Hmm? No. Yeah, you can do it. Like it doesn't say anything mm -hmm. about being disordered. This mm -hmm. little okay. that's interesting. So in other words, you could you could um, disengage and still f do a missile fire as long as you were mm -hmm. disengaging in a march movement, yep. which is what you okay. do. Anyway. Yeah, but it costs me two, right? To uh, it'll uh, cost to you two to here. activate it, and yeah. we get an attack. Yeah, no. <laughs> In that case, I think what I'll do uh, first. Um, first, I want to shoot. Um, yeah, I got activation. Which which ones are you? Hold on. Currently, uh, it takes a, which one are you uh, activating? Here's your activation points. I want, yeah, I want to activate. Wait a second, here it is. I want to activate the bowman. Mm -hmm. Um, they are in range one, two, three, four, five, six of the Dao slave genie, right? Yeah, I think we considered them long, well. These guys okay. are long well. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four. Um, so yeah, he's fine. So if, if, I, if, I, if I wound him, then he also will become disorganized? Correct. And did anybody else get Good. wounded? No, no okay. they, they make sure we did that correctly. All right. So you need your base is 11 plus. Mm -hmm. And their AC is probably pretty bad five so you need 16 or higher but you can fire right. three times Let's see. so okay, first one attack. Enemy. second attack no. come on that attack no uh, okay. okay nothing um well and did anyway, you roll a natural one uh the first shot was a natural one yes. okay so you get a ammo marker that means next time that means you over, you did an over ammo basically. Okay. Ah, okay. So it's next like a, time, it's like a crit. Twice. Yeah. It's like a critical miss, and you yeah. expended a lot of your ammo. Okay. That's just one. Okay. Now. So wait, where is? I think I have a one marker for that. Where the heck is that? Uh, I'll just cool. do one. So... I'll do a marker per one of those. James, are you still there? Yeah. All right. Um, okay. All right. So what he did, he he attacked. Uh, missile attack against your Dao Genie, and he had rolled a natural one on his first, so he has like an expenditure of his ammo. That was so that may, what that does is it makes him a two bow now. Hmm. It's pretty rough. Then, next thing I want to uh, wait, wait a second, this is. This is What's the command range of that dude? Uh, Farkis, or was this? Uh, uh, I think he's got two. Command, oh, two, okay. Well, then I want to order my troll, the trolls to my right to charge into the slave One, infantry. Two, three, four, what is his movement? Yeah, uh, six, four for charging. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice bold move. Nice. All right. In here. Let's go ahead and that was a one, right? It's a one, yeah. 
Well, let's go ahead and resolve that then. Yeah. You're supposed to do it at the time. So he is a <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a four, four by giant clubs four plus. <laughs> Yeah, so, so you gotta roll real bad. Plus. This guy is rough. This guy is rough. Two plus for a hit. He is armor class of two. So Still you a hit. six or better on these. Yeah, uh, no, no, it's a charge. Oh yeah, you're right. So four or better. Back down to four or better. Yeah, four or better. Got a five first hit. All right, so that's one hit. Two hits. Two. <laughs> three hits three hits four hits yeah, so remember that scene hits. where Sauron came out and kind yeah. of <laughs> <laughs> flailed the Mamluks like, <laughs> alright so that's rough yeah. okay that's rough but you got fireballs right alright so that would be he did four damage right mm -hmm. which he needs to do a shock roll as well yeah all right, so this is our first shock roll. Let's look that up. Let's try to find that. Resolve shock. Anytime a unit is damaged by magic, first of all, remember that too. Any yeah. magic roll. Okay, so anytime a unit is damaged by magic and or each time an attack reduces a unit to half or less, a shock roll is required to see if the unit retreats or routes. To make a shock roll, the unit's commander rolls 2d6, adds the unit morale. Okay, so 2d6, James. Um, here's a couple down here. So roll those together right there. And then we're going to add the unit morale. The unit morale is probably low. It's only two. So roll those. Yeah, yeah inclusive. Okay, so five Ooh. plus two is seven. seven. That is a recoil. Okay. Ah, because the, the guy is the guy is uh, right. Uh, so you need to recoil one hex back here. Either one of those. Yeah, perfect. Nothing else happens. If a recoiling unit cannot complete its retreat, it flees. Okay. All right. So we're done with these for now. Uh, and they're disordered. Yes, they. Do you become disordered because they took damage? I will do that for you. Okay. And then I do another charge. I charge uh, with my main unit right into is it the flank the flank of the genie, I guess, right? Yes it would be. Whoop. Well. That's going to be rough. So that's plus two just from flank. Mm -hmm. He so has, but uh, he has an arm. Yeah. He has a arm request of five. So uh, it's a five. I need to roll a five plus in that case, right? Hold on. So your original is four, four plus, and then well, you then get charge, charge, which is two plus. And then you get flank, which is down to zero. But then, wow, are those automatic hits? No, I mean he's he's armor class what five? Five, so you need a five or better. Yeah, five, five or better. Yeah. One hit. One hit. No. No, damn it. Two hits. And three hits, and he is three not hits. a loose, is he? He's in a regular foot, so he cannot retreat the damage off. Mm. So he took how many? Three. Three. All right. Very well. He's a tough guy. Can take it. Yeah, he becomes disordered. Okay. Interesting battle. Where was Redot? He's with the this one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wasn't that one? That was charged for. Her. Okay. I think that's it for your. Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah, the stream kind of stuttered. Okay. Um, I 
want to do the following. I want to do a charge with the spears, the spears of light to the left into the slave infantry. Okay. So you're going to just go forward movement, charge. Yep. Just like that. Okay, so that becomes another engagement. Yeah. And they are disordered. Does this help me in any way? I, I swear think. I no, I don't. Think I think. So. I think it. I think it helps with the morale roll if you have to do that for some way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm saying. Yeah, you shot because it was. Arm. It was. It does, it does help. Somehow it was very useful to right. soften up people. Yes, yeah, exactly. Fire. But it doesn't give you the only benefit is the charge. So that's plus two. Yep. You are a one Six spear seven. eleven plus. Plus two would take you down to nine plus. He is an AC of two. So it's wow, back to just, just one attack for these guys. Wow. Yeah. Okay. They're Ooh. quick. They're, but they're not they're. Powerful. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like almost. Uh, right. Originally, it was uh, it was more of a Very... pikeman, but yeah, right. yeah, that's more like yeah, very light, light foot. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, one attack. Charge. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Oh, no. oh, come on. That was a no. All right. And he, nothing else happens with him, but he is engaged at this point. Yeah, and he's. Uh, he doesn't just... get this order, I don't think. He was already okay. disordered. He didn't do any more. Damage. And I mean me. I, I, I probably get disordered, right? Yes, from being from the charge. charge. You're correct. Yeah. This is the benefit of Roman legionaries, which have lieutenants usually. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they can basically get rid of those like immediately. Uh, they do. The disorder does go away once you activate them. But yeah. it takes extra to activate them. All right. So, so and extra. now I don't charge, but I just move nicely up forward. They're not threatening me, so I can just move here. So you're not attacking? Uh, I, I'm, I am attacking, but I'm not, char I'm not charging. OK, so that you do not become disordered, right? Yeah, because Perfect. I don't. It's All right, nice. so taking the dice out of the way. You have so they one, two more get activations. Two attacks. I see. Yeah, not two more. Yeah, it's two 10 plus attacks. I roll that. So, uh, yes, that's a nice hit. One point of damage. Hold on, what was their AC? Well, you definitely hit it, but they're four. Yeah, but like, their AC is four. Like four, I think. Yeah. So one and point of damage. Second attack. It's fifteen, and that should also be a hit. Yes. Does he have two? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Two. Well, he is not a. So this guy would have gotten an extra point of damage if he had damage. That's the one good thing about these guys. They just don't have. Fighting power. Oop. All right, he's got two damage. Start. Right. All right. Um. So you have two more activation points, right? Yep. So um, I activate the re the rest of the gang. And I have to attack. So here's the thing: Are the leaders always attached? Uh, no, I think I can unattach them, but I guess they can get targeted then. That's the one thing because you're activating them, but you're further away when you activate them. That's the only thing. Let me see something. That's where I don't know. every unit. Uh, officers on the battle map. Each officer is represented on the battle map with an officer counter. At the start of battle, the general and each other commander must be attached to one of the units. May move with the unit they're attached to. 
They do not move or attack independent. So in fact, that would have cost you two, by the way. What would it cost me two? This one. Because at that point, he's out of his own control. Or was he? Let's check. His own control is only two. So, so I know there's this guy attacked first. So there's a sequence to attacking uh, with your leader's yeah, unit. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I will... I mean, I, I'll, I'll give it this one time, right? Where yeah, you would make these guys attack the first. So... Need... Then I would need... To... You probably need two for this one. Well, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't. Well, okay. Even if it if we if it if we do it the other way around, it right? Won't change it because it's have. still Kane. I still can. Okay. okay if we, but if you would have had to activate back, this guy if you wanted to, you know. Yeah, I would have activated the the, the one. So I'll give it to you this one time, right? Yeah. Doesn't, and, it doesn't uh, matter because I can move. I can when I move here, I can choose which one I will attack anyway. Right. So I would attack the one to I my would right. Probably attack the one to the right, yeah. Just to be fair. Or, to be fair, I think we need to do that. Yeah, yeah, sure, okay. sure. All right. As a matter of fact, and, I think you need to. Is that not the rule? Yeah, I in, think... in, in that case, now I would need to. If I would have done the other way around, I could have attacked him actually twice. It would have actually. Right, but I think me. you you have to attack the nearest on the less damaged unit. That's actually uh, one thing. No, not not the, the less damaged. I think it I is. Think the, so. Your no, target. I don't think so. I think that's that's a that's kind of a balancing uh, rule that they did. Uh, let me, let I me think there's it. only one that says the one uh, you have to attack someone who's not yet engaged in another battle if there's one. In which case you would have that choice here, right? Yeah. In either exactly. of these. So this guy is already engaged, and that's that's where it's at. That's yeah. the difference. That's the subtle difference. So yeah, I'm assuming but I, but I, but I, but I could have attacked the same one twice if I would have done it right. Correct, but just for fairness. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, fine. Yeah, just just roll two attacks for the other guys. Sixteen. That's probably hit some. The one hit, yeah. Oop. And a f 15, that's also a hit. And now you're going to hit this guy, right? Uh, flight. So, so um, you got to watch out because, uh, yeah, if he was ready, he would have been able to hit you. But they're not ready, so. Uh, no, no. Uh, so um, let me think from the um, only has two, right? I need to stay close. So yeah, I attack the remaining heavy infantry with that one. Okay, Should on. have done it. Oh, no, my mouse is stuck. What the heck's going on? So these guys are engaged. Okay. Uh, and then this is engaged up here too. All right. This right, guy's not. It's not good. Which actually, you're about to get hit by fireballs. Um, I can no longer. Well, let's wait a second. I think the internet's going a little crazy. There we go. All right. Um, so you're doing this. Yep. That's one attack. Does no. not. Right. Yep. Yeah, okay. kind of and if he had hit, he would have done a second. All right, I think that's it there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, retribution time, James. <laughs> <Let's> see, <laughs> because yeah. somebody needs. Oh, a, well, the last. I think. Last I think there's a time. desert troll with a fireball with its face name on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah, still. Uh, and let's see. One, two, three, four, five. See, he's just out of range here, but. You cannot fire on the engaged unit here. No. Nope. Nope. So this guy is a little out of range, but this guy definitely can probably hit this one. Yeah, probably have to have to move first, right? Because they're this in the guy? way. Yeah. Um, he could volley the fireball overhead. It's all right. He, he can volley it okay. over, but he'll be at a negative. Point. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's, it's difficult to hit. <laughs> but he's got other things too. It. Hold on, he can do. F Fear at fear against one unit which is adjacent, and then conjure elemental. Let's go look at that one real quick because that might be fun too. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what conjure elemental does. Is it my turn to activate? 
you, yeah, you can just yeah. take it here. So, yeah, this this <clears throat> unit. I don't know which one you're going to activate. You're going to activate the this, this sorcerer first, or no? Tempest the mighty. You can do whatever you want. I'm sorry. Oh, you said it's zone of control, so it'll okay. cost two to activate this one. It would be two, yes. All right, let's do that. Yep, sorry about that. There you go. So he costs two. Come on, baby. He costs two to do that. Wait, before you do that, can you put him back? We actually have to resolve the attack here. All right, so this guy, what is he going to do? Is he going to do a fireball or conjure an elemental or fear? He can't do fear. Let's take a look at conjure elemental real quick. Fireball. Okay. A conjure elemental. An elemental hero under the caster's control is placed on the map. And the elemental is an independent hero with an AC of 11. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> a unit. Ah, but what, but what? But what? But what happens if you take damage? He only has a unit hit point of one. <laughs> it's like a. He's like a really cheap unit, but he's really strong. Um, okay. He attacks at what, a. What? Say what? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, go go go. On, okay, hold on. Okay, so hold on. Do you want to do a fireman, a fireball, or do you want to fireball. conjure? Okay, fireball. All right. So that will be. Uh, we had said, what, 12 plus? But then it's going to be four beyond that. So you need a 16 or better. So this is going to be a little rough because Which you're volleying overhead. Or you can pick a different target, but I don't see any other targets for you. This guy's engaged, so you can't hit him with the fireball. This guy, you, have to, uh, you did not hit him. Okay. <laughs> but again, it was primarily bad. because of lack of line of sight here. And there was no other... Uh, uh, just please, anybody correct me if I'm wrong. What happened to this unit over here? Yeah. Well, yeah the other one was too far away, I think. What happened to this? Somebody... F what is this uh, troll doing over there? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> wow. There? Hey, I got reinforcements. Very nice. No. <laughs> I think it was like this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got there. about uh, half an hour left. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so go ahead and activate the other units. So you have two activations left. So you're gonna you're gonna activate him. Oop. Okay, so he's just marching. Hustling. Oh, he is hustling. What is it? And he'll hustles? do a fireball too. He can't do a fireball if he hustles. If you make him do a march, he can do a fireball. Uh, what was his march? It's four. Okay. Dang. No, march two. No, his. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah, you can hit him. You have you have line of sight now. So you, uh, his AC is five. Hold on. Hold on. You are 12 plus. His AC is 5. That's 17 or better. Damn. <laughs> you do not. Yeah. I, we didn't take into account his AC is, is ridiculous because he's huge. Um, um, so, yeah, you needed a 17. So, that, very, I mean, again, very, but if you yeah. damage him, you Hard. would. Yeah. It, he's, he's rough. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So... You got one more activation on either of these. Are you there? Dim the level, which yeah. means that my power will run up. Some Save the game. Save the game. Well, yeah. Hold on. I am going to save it just in case. Well, if I drop out. So nothing bad happens. Yeah, really bad. But I tell you what, the, the auto save feature is pretty good too. So. I don't think you're doing any attacks. I think that's the end of the end of the turn, really overall, right? Uh, yeah. Since I don't know. But yeah, next round will be interesting. <laughs> These go pretty quick. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, as soon as as the first as the first guy run away, then. Uh, right. So we are get... into the next. Yeah, we have to roll initiative roll to next. I guess we can do this so next, next time. Shame, I guess. You have over here. Let's do your wear shirt D. So roll a D six for this guy right here, James. So go ahead and roll this. D6. So we're doing, doing initiative. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're back to square one. All right. Okay, you just roll that, and then we'll add it. To, yep. And we'll add it to this come guy. On, come on, come on. Yes. What is he? He is a. Two, so he's at seven. So we mark you as seven. So he's at seven. All right. So for where's your other guy? Uh, la, 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 la. This guy right in the front, Hajun the Wise. He has a strategic modifier of four. So roll this d6 again right here. James, roll this d6 right here. Wait, which one? This this D six. We're rolling it for this commander here. All right, five plus four is going to be a nine, so he gets a nine. That's just good, which is very good. So he'll go first. And then we're going to do the same thing for your oh, commander right, right here. So roll that D6 again, James, right here. And what do you get? Four plus, um, what is his strategic? Four, two, four. So you get a six for that guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not too bad, huh? Six, not nine, seven, six, okay. Mm -hmm. And we take, I take Damn, all the activations. I wrote of... so well and can't make a pool of them because you're gonna need them anyway. Try to pick up the ones that I can. <laughs> oh, thank you, everybody. Appreciate that. Hitting, uh, okay. Can you pick up the one under the tree or near the tree? Yeah, I, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, there you go. Get rid of some of these two. Okay. Just for a lot of stuff there. All right. All right. All right. So is everybody's twelve out near their commander? Right. Everybody's twelve is appropriately Pretty... set and near their commander. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So highest is ten. Yeah, your general Alaris is kicking I rolled uh, right uh, two sixes and one five. Great round for me, but the other side is still good. So, my guy. All right. All right. So, what are you going to activate? Are you within your zone of control? Very much within your zone of control for all of those, pretty much. Yeah. This guy costs yeah. two. But otherwise, these cards, uh, so you can pretty much, you can pretty uh, much activate maybe, for your guys right there. Yeah, my, my power will cut out uh, any minute now. Um, so probably, could we maybe stop here before um, we start? Yeah, we can. Uh, James, you need to leave anyway, right? Uh, yeah, I was going to yeah. stop in around 10. Yeah, this is a good spot. Um, Oh, next Sunday. Sorry, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it won't take I very bring, long. Have to, to bring my, have to yeah. bring my laptop. Yeah, I think maybe two, probably about two, two initiative rounds. Left. Yeah, I think there's probably yeah. about a good two, two more rounds left. But they, they, it yeah. takes a while to do the rounds, but there's a lot of action in the round because everybody goes. Yeah, yeah. But I think yeah, the, the 
morale modifiers are pretty high on our side, so maybe we'll see. We'll see. Hit points is also more pretty big. Six hit points in average, or oh, eleven for the big ones. I think the only yeah. thing I would suggest, James, is to go ahead and create the elementals. Um, let me think about that. Who else does that? These guys have elementals. Well, what what happens to the elementals if the guy who summoned them gets hit by a ranged attack? Because by uh, axe he would lose control, but I'm not yeah, really sure I how that works. I think it's independent once it's created. As long as as long as he is not disordered and not threatened, then he can create it. And I think it's independent at that point. But it only has like one hit point. So in other words, mm -hmm. the elemental is very strong and very difficult to hit. But once it's hit, it's gone. Um, again, I mm -hmm. think he's gonna need him, honestly. <laughs> Your, your trolls are just swathed. swathed yeah, the troll, man, yeah. If, I, if I can get the trolls in the first the first round, that's brutal. Yeah. But that's, he's uh... got... Let's see, what else does the genie have? He has Earth's teeth and transmute to mud. So something else to consider is to transmute to mud some of these guys because then they won't be able to move for a combat round. <laughs> so in other words, if you, if you transmute to mud under one of these desert trolls, they won't be able to move. Oh, okay. By this guy, and then what else do these guys have? Transmute anything? No, they have fear, so they can conjure elementals. These guys can conjure no Earth's teeth. What is Earth's teeth? I think that just does damage nearby. I think that's a damage spell. Yeah, yeah something like fireball, teeth. but weaker. Yeah, I think it's like nearby though, but it's kind of like more automatic. Yeah, it's very close. I don't consider yeah. it. It's like not considered a melee. It's pretty much automatic. Yeah. All right. Well, we should be able to wrap it up very quickly. Same time next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds yeah, good. Sounds good. Sure. All right. Awesome. That was fun. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Even if it was nice short, it was pretty more fun. All right. Yeah. All right, everybody. Talk then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, talk again. <laughs> okay. Bye.